All right, so I am going to do a tag video for you today. I absolutely love tag videos. And so I want to give a shout out to S underscore Hutchinson because I watched her tag video. And anytime I have an opportunity to do a tag video, I want to. So this is a cute, quick, po the positive tag. And there's only five questions. I'm going to put them down and let's get to it. So it says here, what three things are you good at? Uh, I am good at cooking and my specialty is uh, Italian beef, lasagna, and I can fry some fish like nobody's business. So there you go. Um, Another thing that I'm good at is I have the uncanny ability of people letting me know their deep secrets. It's not something that uh, I have ever asked for. I have had strangers come up and talk to me and tell me things about themselves. Um, I've had this ever since I was a kid. And... If I would tell you some of the stories of people randomly coming up to me, you would be shocked and you wouldn't believe me. And my husband used to thought, think I was crazy until he witnessed it himself. More In more than one occasion, especially when we were first married. He was like, do you know that person? I'm like, no. And they're like, well, why did they tell you that? I'm like, that's what people do. So I have people who tell me things um, that they may not otherwise tell other people. So I'm kind of like a bartender without the alcohol. And people feel very comfortable telling me things so and I don't know them and they don't know me a lot of times and if it's someone who I have a familiarity with um, they will really uh, seek me to tell tell me things I don't know why but I've accepted it and that's the way that is and I'm good at giving advice something else that I never really wanted to do my mother used to call me uh, the counselor when I was little because she remembers very vividly on the porch in New York um, kids would sit at my porch and I would give out advice I thought for a long time I'd be either a social worker or a psychologist but that didn't work out but even now, I give out advice a lot. And I don't, I'm not one to give advice that's unsolicited. I'm not going to tell you what I think, but a lot of times people want to know what I think. So that is the third thing that I'm good at. Okay, which YouTubers inspire you the most? Well, it would, I would be remiss. Well, I, I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be fair at this point to put out names because there are so many people who I I enjoy watching but I will say this collectively the YouTubers who inspire me the most are qualities that I want to have for myself so I love the YouTubers who are very free with themselves on camera which is something I'm still learning to do um, I think that I'm a far I'm far more uh, comfortable in front of the camera than I used to be. However, I'm I'm not one to put a lot on camera, and I m admire those who are free with themselves to do that. So that's one thing. I love people who can be themselves and and authentic to themselves, which I try to do. Um, you know, I I try very much. You know, if you saw me off camera, this is what you would see. But um to have this um freeness about themselves they don't give a care about other people and it is what it is and i, I it's refreshing to me because that's not my personality um i'm kind of reserved by nature so i do gravitate in life i do gravitate where they say opposites attract i do gravitate towards people who aren't really like me um, they have qualities um, that I admire. So, you know, those that can really cut up on camera, I really enjoy them. I'm not talking about acting like a fool, but I'm just saying cut up and just, you know, almost like kitchen table talk on camera is not something that I don't think that I could ever get to. Um, but I do admire those YouTubers who can really just 
be completely free and kind of unadulterated with uh, what they say on camera. So I admire those YouTubers. And those are the ones who I, I gravitate. But in my real life, I gravitate to people who are not necessarily like me. We may have core values, but it's in a, it's a, it's in a completely different delivery. So that's what I would say about that. Okay, what three things are you excited about? Mm. Well, I will say this. I have three teenagers that still live at home. And I'm excited about them all getting ready to graduate. My kids are very close in age. My uh, oldest, she's 18, she's a senior. My uh, son, Jacob, he's 17, he's a junior. However, he is going to finish school early. And my youngest one, Eli, he's a freshman and he's gonna do his four years. He is the graduating class of 2020. So I'm excited about all three of them graduating, all three of them going to the next chapter of their lives. I'm really excited. Like no one was more excited about freshman orientation than I was because I was thinking about my I was thinking to myself, I am on the downhill slide of this grind of parenthood. Now I can't speak for anyone else. I can only speak for myself. I will not be crying when my kids graduate. I don't think my daughter's gonna well, she's not going off to college. And my son, he's not gonna go away for college. So I don't have that empty nest thing. They're gonna be doing their own thing, but they're not gonna be going away to, to college. My youngest one will more likely be going off to college, but I am so excited about the, the daily grind of that part of my parenting ending. I'm tired of checking if they did their homework. I'm tired of parent-teacher conference. I'm tired of the, you know, having to talk to teachers, going on the parent access and making sure their grades are good. I am tired of that grind and I have been putting in an exit strategy of having my own life because I'm not going to be one of those people that, that's going to be crying about, oh, you know, I'm not a mom. I'm always going to be a mom. It, you know, you're not meant to be a mom in the, the you know, their chapters, you know, and I am extremely ecstatic about uh, not being that mom for much longer. I can, I can almost taste it. And, uh, I'm excited about that. So I'm excited about getting out of that parenting grind and moving on to a different parenting grind that is not going to exhaust me because this high school phase is exhausting. <laughs> okay. What three things are you? Oh, so what do you do to relax? Um, I'm an avid reader. I'm one of those people who has several books in rotation, so I like to read a lot, and I like quiet it a lot. Um, I, I like the house quiet in the morning, and I like the house quiet in the evening. I don't get it that much in the evening, but I do need bouts of quietness to keep me on an even keel, and even sitting in my car at the park for a half an hour to just be still is good. Uh, what else do I do to relax? I do a lot of mindless TV when, when possible. And, um, you know, my husband's always looking at me with the side eye. I'm watching one of two things. I'm either watching something to do with weight. So I'm completely addicted on my 600 pound life. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm addicted to a different type of reality show. So I will watch, um, intervention. I will watch my 600 pound life. I will watch, um, hoarders. I will watch, I will watch any of those. I, I will binge watch on those and I'm either watching that or I'm watching any type of forensic show. You name them. You name them, I've watched them, and I'm, I'm ready to watch the ones that are coming out for the new season. So I, I'm doing one of those two things. I prefer to do that than watch pretty much any other show because, you know, and, and toss in their Dateline, Primetime, you know, 2020, uh, you know, all those shows where there's about crime, 
ID channel. I'm watching all those. Okay. Um, okay. And the best part, who are you tagging? All right. This was simple. So the first person I'm tagging is James Colwell. Because I know James Colwell loves a good tag video. And in fact, he encouraged me to do a tag video because he says it's a great way for you to, new YouTubers to for people to get to know. And in fact, I think the first video that I really got my feet wet was the Are You Shady tag. So if you want to go all the way back in the archives, you can find my Are You Shady tag. And I think I got that one from James Colo. And I know he's a good sport, so I know that if you are watching this video or any of my other subscribers that are subscribed to James Colo, let him know that I have tagged him on this video. And uh, the next person I would like to tag is Narob on YouTube. Um, I would love to see uh, her her things. I, she's a cool chick. So uh, Narob, and then let's see for the third, I would like to tag Beautiful Soul. Uh, her channel is Beautiful Beautiful Soul Speaks, and I'm gonna do a bonus tag because he he reluctantly does tag videos but i do know he will watch my videos so sean bradley is a quick tag so if you are inclined to do this positive tag video please do so and i will look forward to watching all of the videos and any of you who are youtubers please do the tag video i would love to see what you have to say on the positive tag i hope you enjoyed it Take care of yourself and each other, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.